All right, thanks for staying with us now. American rapper and fashion designer Kanye West, or Kanye Omari West, popularly, popularly known as Kanye West, or Ye, has lost about $2 billion um, dollars in 2024 20, hours after several bands, um, brands rather cut ties with him over the anti-Semitic comments that he made. Now, this is coming less than 48 um, hours after an American business magazine, Forbes, announced that Kanye no longer has a place as, um, on its billionaires list now that his lucrative deal with Adidas is over. Now, the brand that um, have, the brands rather that have cut his ties or they've cut ties with Kanye so far include Balenciaga, MRC, that's the entertainment studio shelved and already finished documentary, um, year documentary that they did, his talent agency CAA, Adidas, Jalen Brown, um, Aaron Donald, Foot, Foot Locker, The Real Real, TJ Maxx, Madame Tussauds, right? Even in the UK, they took out his wax. Um, <laughs> State, uh, statue. Now, reacting to the loss, the rapper in a post on Instagram explained mm -hmm. that the people uh, are who he is, not the money. He wrote, I lost $2 billion in one day and I'm still alive. This is a love speech. I still love you and the money is not who I am. The people are who I am. Um, so also his school, um, his school, Don, Don, Donda. Donda Academy, right, was affected as this, uh, they also they were dropped from the a high school tournament because of Kanye's utterances. <laughs> this is really crazy. Now, bringing this home, right? We're asking, how do Nigerians begin to handle hate speech? Because this one, uh, I mean, anything you, any statement you make abroad, everybody's cutting you off, right? And you really feel the impact. But we do not have those kinds of reactions when certain people make certain comments here in Nigeria. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. All right, so Uti, I want to come to you first because your, your network is a bit unstable. Um, can you quickly, first of all, establish this uh, can you ask matter because I'm hearing so many stories I, and I hear that the, this one that has just happened was because of a statement he made against the Jews so, so I don't know how true this is you know because he's been making so many statements before it seems like everybody was not paying attention until he touched the Jew so I don't know if that is true but let, let me hear your thoughts you know uh, you know how your understanding of all that is going on with Kanye West okay so Kanye West all right actually um, officially changed his name to Ye. So it's just Ye now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is these, at the center of this controversy that started earlier in the month when um, he posted that he was going to DEFCON 3 on, um, to DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Now, um, he said that he's not anti-Semitic, of course, but um, you can't say you're going to death on three on Jewish people and won't be taken seriously. I suspect from what um, I've seen and what I've heard, there's a combination of things. Uh, there was, a, I believe, an altercation or something where he accused um, Diddy of being controlled by Jewish people. Uh, there was also issues that he apparently had also made some comments around Mark Zuckerberg, who, of course, whilst having been... Uh, should I say, is an atheist, been an atheist, is obviously of Jewish origin. So it's been, um, or Jewish faith rather, it's been a controversial time and it's a very, very sensitive topic. Of course, in the history of Jews, we know that um, they've been through a lot as a people. Now, the, the, the thing that we must first dissociate from here, because I know when we were talking about this earlier, there's so many perspectives and issues here um, that one can unpack from this um, thing that is happening here. So we are not addressing this today from the fact that Ye is a very controversial character, and we know that he has in the past talked about being bipolar. So we're talking about this like Ye was a fully sane uh, person, who was who you know is in control of all his senses and is responsible for everything that he's saying um which is of course the way we have seen it play out because all of these brands have dropped him what particularly the first time this story caught my attention mm. was when he made the comment that it didn't matter 
what he said or what anti-Semitic statements he made mm -hmm. that the brand Adidas would not drop him um, and his Yeezy line of trainers. Of course, I don't, you know, the day I heard that in my mind, I was like, why would you be so confident and so bold that um, hate speech would not be uh, um, would not be taken uh, seriously by a brand as big, a global brand as big as um, added as in my mind at the time, just the inner workings of my mind, I thought, oh, is it because they're a German brand um, that they would do that? But of course, from a, from a financial perspective, um, perhaps he thought that he was too important to the brand because it's a hugely mm -hmm. successful mm -hmm. um, a brand of shoes. We can see the impact just of that one brand. Everybody had dropped him or the minute uh, Adidas dropped him off the fob list, he went. So we can sort of estimate the value of that yeah, brand. Yeah, he about 1.4 billion or 1.2 billion. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we can see how how valuable that brand is. So, in fact, Adidas hasn't said they are dropping the shoe. They've just said it will no longer be branded easy. So, from next year, they will be selling the shoes under the Adidas brand. Mm -hmm. So, coming back to the issue of hate speech, right, it is incredible that, or rather incredibly sad that in the world today, Kanye is just a, uh, a symbol or a representation of what is happening out there because in the midst of all these people all these brands rather dropping um yay and you know people other celebrities condemning the state even his ex-wife has come out to say um she condemns hate speech and she stands with the jewish community but even in all of that rational behavior there are still people who are out there there was a picture earlier in the week of a, <clears throat> a group of people who went and hung a banner over a, a very popular highway in the United States to say um, Kanye West was right, um, you know, Jewish people are making Nazi symbols and all of that. So the fact is today, what has his actions played out to? And what are the consequences of his actions today in the United States? Mm. There is a heightened level of fear for Jewish people. There are people who are finding it difficult to leave their homes now who don't feel safe. People who are on the other side of the divide, all of a sudden have been given a platform. They're now, you know, it, it's almost like what President Trump did when he was stirring up things in the United States. But this is now against a particular group of people. And now people, we're, we're going to start to see, you know, rises in attacks. In, in, um, and we hope that it doesn't even result in death because mm -hmm. human beings, that's, it only takes a little thing to, to spark things off. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sad that at this point in time, this is where we find ourselves that, and this is not a new experience, like I said, for the Jews. We all know the, the history with the Holocaust. And even since then, over the years, they've really, really suffered with this anti-Semitic movement, not just in the United States, but, you know, in a lot of places around the world. So it's sad that in 2022, we are still here, given that the Holocaust was... My math is wrong now, but it's, I mean, well over, I think, 80 years ago now, or, or how long ago? Yeah. yeah. That, that happened. Okay, let me come to Lazy's in studio. Um, I know Lydia is itching to talk. <laughs> I'm itching to talk, but at the Go same ahead. time, I had, I'm sorry if I seem distracted. My network kept going in and oh, out. Oh, okay. So I couldn't access what I want to say. So I'm just going to have to speak like a layman. Hmm. We find that some religions seem to be more tolerant than others. The Christians, for instance, don't react the way Muslims do when Muhammad seems to have been disrespected. When they say to Jesus, we don't act. Maybe it's the teachings of our religion, I don't know. But it's tolerance in different religions that allows for such things to happen. Just like the blacks when, in America, when they're talking about slavery, the way they're so touchy about the subjects, Kanye being their black sheep as well, has always so made a statement that infuriated them, saying that slavery was a choice. He seems to want to just bring controversy, whatever the case is. But there are certain topics that people don't joke with. Hmm. The Holocaust, slavery, I don't even know if there's any other thing apart from those two that people are like, regardless it's of how no carry the way you get, never crack jokes about it. Recently, they said there were some girls dancing in a cotton field, twerking and everything. And the outrage was inc incredible. People were like your forefathers. 
your ancestors died picking cotton. Hmm. Is, do you think it's something to joke about? Meanwhile, we're wearing cotton today. It's not the issue. But don't joke about such things. The reason why I think people want to make a point this time around where Kanye is concerned is he's gotten out of hand. Hmm. He's done it too many times. I think you even made a statement that if we had some kind of other kind of power in the house, maybe he will get away with some things. But when you start hissing people in their pockets for being insensitive, lacking emo emotional intelligence, being fickle with their speeches and their statements, thinking the power of money can make them do and say anything and get away with it. People will start applying sense more and more. Yeah, and I'm happy you're saying that. And that's why we now want to bring it home to the topic mm -hmm. that we're having today, mm -hmm. Glory, right? Yeah. You know, because this is something that is happening abroad. It's mm -hmm. Kanye West. Mm -hmm. We've had series of hate speeches, mm -hmm. issues around tribalism, issues around religion. We have it all, almost all the time here, mm -hmm. right? How do we begin to handle? Because like you rightly said, this is hitting his pocket. Mm. Maybe, maybe, so you know, this might just be what what will be needed for him to actually be, be curbed, right? Yes. But let's take a very quick break because I also want to open our phone lines. Uh, when I come back, I want you to help me understand how do we as Nigerians begin to handle speeches or hate speeches or whatever it is. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, so thanks for staying with us. Now, um, if you just tuned in, it's our Ladies' Night Out, and we're analyzing the recent events around Kanye, or you call it Yi. <laughs> Yi, that's a funny name. <laughs> and asking, how do Nigerians begin to handle hate speech, right? We want to bring it home to Nigeria. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. Now the phone line is now open. The number to call is 070-250-07749. Remember the rules, turn off the volume of a television set. Call us on 070-250-07749. I just want to quickly put something. There's a semblance of that happening in Nigeria because there's this cancel culture, they call it, where if you just say anything, we cancel, 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 but we do not go as deep as this. Two things for me i feel we don't really have proper endorsements we don't have pre proper like the way they document mm -hmm. endorsement the way they document all of those things abroad so it's not easy for you to really say you want to hold them by the balls but let me hear your thoughts glory you know when we talk about hate speech there is a lot to say when it comes to that first um i want to break it down by saying that hate speech is not the absence of freedom of communication mm. so it's communicating but com making speech that's not insightful be it religious, tribal, racial, sexual, whatsoever it is. So um, I'm a little, I try to um, strike a balance, especially when looking at our context in Nigeria. So we have the ability to be extreme in most things. So sometimes if we, people say hate speech, hate speech, we find sometimes where, um, even when people are naturally, um, um, how do they call them? Um, activists are just mm. performing their civil rights. Yeah, you know, you know, people just say their yeah, hate speech. You know, so I try to strike a balance when I talk about hate um, speech. Now, how do Nigerians handle hate speech? First, um, it's not just about this happened to Kanye. He's a public figure, but I want to bring it down to us, you and I. Sometimes the things we say, we don't know we are insightful. Hmm, hold that thought. I think we have our first caller for the evening. Buyer from Lagos, you're live. Hold hello? your thought. Don't forget your thought. Go ahead. You're live. Yeah, hello. Yes, you are live. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, man. Good evening. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, the, the issue there is that, um, you know, over there, their, their level of exposure or their started awareness when it comes to the issue like that, um, I mean, as far the way from the way it used to be over here. And uh, sincerely, I mean, nobody will want to, like, what one of your guests there said. I mean, you know, somebody's forefathers, you know, they have been, uh, you know, traded under the, the weight world of slavery and, uh, you know, been subjected to pass through a lot of things before. And somebody, uh, which has caused the, 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 the uh, what was it called, the future generation, a lot of things while remembering it. And somebody just over there and civilizing it. It's like, you are bringing a kind of, you know, hood wounds back to life. So, and for what you said, it shouldn't even 
be expected of uh, the caliber of uh, Kanye West with the level of um, what we call, uh, you know, the publicity portrayed. You know, to be saying that they're just talking about how they're talking about a lot of people that are using it as uh, their ambassadors and other. These are multinational uh, corporate entities. So you going all out there, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's really a very big mistake for him to have. I mean, for, uh, for Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. So sometimes the things we say as individuals, we don't know we are being insightful. Mm -hmm. And this has, you just mentioned the case of um, religious intolerance. Mm -hmm. So even hate speech goes both ways. How do we handle um, hate speech? Number one, we need to be tolerant, both on the side mm -hmm. of the receiver of the hate speech and the emitter of the hate speech. Mm -hmm. Then who, whosoever is emitting this hate speech is supposed to know that. You need to understand, you need to try to put yourself in the shoes of this other person. Be how, is it so how do we begin to handle them? Because you see, what has happened to Kanye West now, for instance, right? is that the companies are not even smiling so you think you have mouths because we've been giving you you know endorsements and all of that and they're just stripping them off endorsements we have these things going on in nigeria how do we begin to punish people that are very careless when it comes to things they say because we've seen people try to divide us as a country against um, religious lines mm -hmm. tribal lines and all of those so if you don't so many so, so, yes if you choose say you know one game brain Mm. We go teach you how to get brain. That's yes. what I'm saying. Because that's what and Adidas I, is doing. But yes. Uti, wait, Uti, you want to say something? Yeah, so I just wanted to just, when you asked that question just now, um, these people are not scrapping Kanye West. Let's be clear. There is the outrage, right? Mm. That, oh my God, he said that. But then there's also the very reality that the reason why Kanye is an ambassador in the first place is because they need to drive business. Yes. It's down to the top line right and when you now have something that puts that bottom line at risk which means these comments are inflammatory to to more people then your business your sales are at risk it's like what happened with gucci and, and black people mm. so the fact is if you if you look at the way he, um, he was dropped from the different companies some companies it was immediate Adidas, which was the biggest one. Yes, In fact, they were, there was a lot of noise when people were saying, Adidas is silent. Adidas hasn't said anything. It was almost like, oh, or was Kanye even right that truly these guys can't drop him? So it is down to, the, to, to Naira and, and Kobo. So when you bring it home here to the mm -hmm. question that you asked, when you said, hey, how, do, how do these people live? People are, there are big endorsement deals in Nigeria, no joke. But the, the thing there is, is different because the, the, the populace, how many things, Uwa, can you decide in Nigeria not to buy? That's these big, these types of brands. That's that true. Now have we don't even have an option. <laughs> you have bad service. You will walk away and say, mm, I'm never buying from You'll there again. Back. You will still come back. <laughs> so our circumstances are very different. I just wanted to put that in when you were talking. Uti, that's it. That's it. Below the best blow. You can't even make much because you don't have an option here. <laughs> like they still come back. There's apparently a review of a hate speech bill that is online for everybody to Google and educate themselves. I wasn't aware until I got networking again when I was sitting there. <laughs> so I have to study it and see what the law says about it in Nigeria. But the reason why Adidas, I think, may have taken their time in actually reacting is their lawyers would have had to go back to the agreement they had with Kanye. Oh, yeah. To see, first of all, what we can use as a legal you know um what do they call it? yeah because i think i think there's a there's a settlement that would, ha that would that have, would to, have happen. to happen if they ended yeah. the contract too yeah. soon yeah and what are the conditions for ending a contract with him mm -hmm. so before they make a statement they have to be sure that they block all the holes that he can come back and sue for for more money than what his partnership was even worth in the first place and then again when we say hate speech just like you said glory at times i might just be expressing a perspective but the receiver is taking it as hate speech where is the general rule that we can all agree yes. on that it is hate speech Even in because the do you understand too because yes. that the lady issue, um, so lining what can be defined as hate, as hate speech, speech. Mm -hmm. yes. the lady that they said they burnt the mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. a few months back yes who in, was in, um, expressing herself absolutely and they took it as from a whatsapp group 
from her what and they took it as hate and they lynched her. Hmm. How do we come with a template that we can all agree, agree. on that, that is a hate speech? Then again, where the consequences will happen in Nigeria? Because hmm. consequences yes. are the things that we never follow. Yes. Through. follow through. Yeah, because you know, I, I mean, it's a very valid question you have hmm. asked because. Like Uti rightly said when she was given the opener, mm. some people went to put a flag in support of Kanye West because as far as they are concerned, That's the, what he has said is nothing. Mm. It's not a big deal. Mm. They are in support of it. You know, so I get that point, mm. right? Um, but you see, anything that touches a sensitivity, right? Somebody comes now and says something about your child. Mm. I am sure you're going to take that as, I mean, something really, really hurtful about your child. I'm sure you're going to take it as hate speech. Mm -hmm. So there's no generic rule for it. as to say this is what hate speech is. Mm -hmm. But once you begin to infringe on somebody else's mm -hmm. rights, you begin to infringe on somebody else's sensitivity, then, you know, you have to be cautioned. May I say something? I Go. think, in that, sorry Uti, when you say that, even representatives of the government in America have made statements that seem to be infringing on the sensitivity of our people. Mm. Slaves, they, the people even say, don't call them slaves, number mm. one, because the, you made them slaves. They mm. weren't slaves when you picked them up. So if Kanye expressed something, and it seems to be infringing on the sensitivity of a certain group of people, but the people in government and all other people have said it about gender, mm -hmm. have said it about choice of mm -hmm. who you want to copulate mm. with, have said it about slavery, have said it, and they are not bearing any consequences. Mm. I think he's also being made an example of. Okay, let me take youngest old man. Then I'll come to you, Uti. Youngest old man, you're alive. I know. Good evening. Good evening. Um, is he on this issue? I would like to throw in out in and out, and I'll be very very careful so that you can understand me. You see. I could remember even the time of Hitler. Hitler had followers. People loved what he's doing. Of course. Why some hated him for who he is and what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So in every opinion, somebody was always down to your tune and somebody will always be in support of whatever opinion you are bringing out. For example, now the new British Prime Minister, somebody came on one of the Arabian <laughs> and said that, how can the guy go to a Scottish program? Be him being, I don't know if you had it, him being um, an Asian. How will he be resembling that? How will his face look like? For all I care, that is the most sensible and undiluted way speech. <laughs> but people didn't take it serious. They just felt that is it. The other lady that the call, that the father, the, the husband became um, the king of England, the other woman refused to even shake her. So for me, I believe that everything in every place comes in with different perspective. You see, when you watch today, my not see himself and for that in class. But I promise you, history will bring him up one day. Mm. But during that time of Hitler, it was as simple as this. Mm. So let me make you understand that if you bring him to Nigeria, we have a lot of Hitlers in this country mm. and nobody sees him as Hitler mm. or, or her. Hate speech coming every day. People speak with full hatred. And they are not even uh, technical about it. It's so direct. Hmm. You understand? But we, our culture has made it that we don't have options. Don't let lady say. You understand? It's already our culture. We don't have options. We are limited. You understand? If you vest, they will send in poverty. They, they, they will weaponize it. When hungry wants you, you vow for the unbearables. So basically, we are psychologically enslaved and we don't have much to say. Mm. However, he has done his bits, but history, I'm very sure, will not have mercy on him because he has done a very, very wrong, a very wrong stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uti. Uti wanted to say something. Uti, um, you're, <laughs> go ahead. You're lying. So I was going to say, when Glory was speaking about the definition of hate speech, right? Mm. Because... I understand that it's a slippery slope. And in fact, um, I was going to talk about the hate speech bill um, that like they mentioned. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is, right, hate speech is, oh, I hate you, I don't like you. I tell Gloria, I tell Lady, I don't like what, is hate speech. It's against a person. Mm -hmm. 
it could be against a religion, it could be against a race, it could be anything. Yeah. I think when we start to get into the territory mm. that is dangerous, right, and which is what we're really talking about today, mm. is when it begins to incite something. Yes. It is start to incite violence, right? Mm. Where you are now putting people at risk by what you are saying. Mm. That is the clear line that we're drawing. Mm. So, you know, when the hate speech bill, I think, was it 20, 2018, 2019, I think? Yeah, 2018. Or was it even 2020? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. There was a, a time when they tried to push it for a reading again. Mm -hmm. You know, it came the first time, and then the second time they tried to, to, to bring it up again. And people were like, it's so vague. Like, how will you define hate speech? Like, it just seemed at the time, like, politicians were trying to use it as a way to yeah. shut down dissent yeah. Ooh, yes. people having a different opinion and people calling them out right mm -hmm. so it almost i don't even think that thing went past that first reading i think it just died again absolutely um, let me take samuel okay. sorry uti and then come and take <laughs> <laughs> samuel you're live from lagos samuel are you there okay uti go ahead yeah finish up Okay, were you done? Okay, what lady, you were going to say. We have, what I was going to say very quickly is that okay. hate speech is happening every day in Nigeria, and I think that's what youngest old man was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Just spend, 10 minutes is even long, spend five minutes on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Big uh, is right. Sure. <laughs> every, every person, everything. So what we, this is such an important topic for us because we have bred intolerance. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. every nature of I mean, it is almost now becoming a I think we have normalized hate normalized speech that we, it, yes. we don't even consider it anymore as hate speech because yeah, now everybody's become, just, yeah. They call it trolling. Yeah, they find and, simpler and names for it. It's becoming very dangerous because we know what that can become. And that's what I think Lady was trying to say that the consequences for us is, is akin to a match with a keg of petrol. Mm. So. When you talk about hate speech in Nigeria, like someone said, oh, I don't like what, uh, the example that Uti gave. Um, I don't like Uti is against the person. When we have presidential candidates mm. going around and saying that, oh, as a Yoruba, vote for only Yoruba. As an Igbo, you should consider... That's insightful. That's being insightful. So these things too, if they too suffered consequences, mm. such statements would not be loosely made on a presidential campaign. Because... It could easily incite wars. When you start teaching people about tribalism, and meanwhile, in, in your mind, you're thinking, I'm trying to win numbers over. But you're already, you know, classifying people. Mm -hmm. And then other people think about it and say, oh, we don't even want them to win. Then they start acting on it. Mm. That too is hate speech. Absolutely. So please. You know, so I mean, these are the things that we, mm -hmm. and that's why I was saying that, how do we begin to handle it? Because mm -hmm. it seems like, we have just normalized certain things in this country. We don't pay attention anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't even consider that these things are actually... Because now, this is a country that takes things seriously. Yes. Madame Tussauds in London... Took wax any small thing when you do like this. Your wax image, <laughs> pyam. They don't even want... Because they, they, they feel like every little thing is an endorsement. Mm -hmm. So if they keep that image there, it means that they have accommodated and they are endorsing what can you wear has said. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. We don't have all of those things, mm -hmm. right? We have people on board of directors of certain companies. They have done certain things and we are just, you know, onlookers like nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. We keep on accommodating it. I, I mean, that's why I said you have to report that driver of that car hailing yes. services. It's not because I want to be vindictive to those no, that no, person. No, who knows you who know, we're saving? God knows who you are going to be saving and with that. Yes. This, of yes. So we have to start to pay attention to these things. We're not trying to be, oh, we are holier than thou, or whatever he is. He, he was without sin, cast the first stone. That's not the point. The point is that there are so many things that have been said against tribe, against religion, against so many things that we have just overlooked or just looked away that is causing a lot of problem. And that's why we're now having issues around security threats, all of these things happening. Because now, nobody knows how much heated you know, the system is until we really draw close to the elections and it's now a case of, you know what, you're going to do this or, 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 you, or you die. Could I please quickly throw in the word genocide mm. in the conversation? Because it's st such statements that starts the, the conversations where tribes and tongues start deciding, let's separate ourselves from certain people. Mm. When Hitler started thinking, I want to deal with the Jews, I'm sure he started with a conversation maybe on a game playing scrapple or something with a friend. And he's like, these people are even, that's how it starts. They went, we had Nigerians 
in um, South Africa just last year experiencing xenophobia. We trying to xenophobia, genocide. It's all about it. When you don't start nipping things in the bud, mm -hmm. even in our conversations, because you made a statement sometime saying that be deliberate about oh. your conversations, be intentional. Yeah was the word you used. Every word. With every conversation you have, every interaction as a human being, I personally want to say, based on that day, since you said it too, that I'm going to be intentional about every single conversation. And I want to say that, I want to particularly talk to people that mm. have some level of influence. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. Kanye West's influence is not a joke. Yeah, and like Pussy no, rightly influence. said, these people, they know how much billions that guy was bringing into yes. their business. For them to even sign those kind of endorsement, mm -hmm. he's a money spinner. Mm -hmm. Anything Kanye West touches Some turns gold. to gold. Even Kim Kardashian, right. his ex-wife, he's still oh. taking royalties from a particular shapewear that she he co-owned with her. Sure. So yeah. I'm just saying to you that he is actually a money spinner. The guy is a money machine. Mm. He's someone that can can turn anything and make it into something very yeah. valuable, right? But so you see, when you have those kind of people of influence, right? You have to be extreme. You are the one that must has to be responsible. responsible. Yes. Responsibility so you know it's not just for yourself. Yes, because no, you there are certain things that must not come out of your mouth. Yes. Mm. Right? There are certain things that you must not do. But we do not have that sense of responsibility here. Mm. And that is why we need to start paying attention. So if it is us that we need to start doing cancel culture, we have to start and I know the youth are doing it in Nigeria, mm. because now, Anybody that like talks fun. anything against the uh, obedient people, they just cancel you. I said something <laughs> nice now, and I said it's insightful. When you said we have to start holding, I said we should start throwing stones at them. No, but that's insightful. No, that's insightful. So, let's not throw stones. Let's not throw stones, but let's find let a legal us, way to do yes, it. Yes, yes. Let mm. us start cutting ties. If it is business, let's not patronize. But what do you say we no get option? That's the sad part. We don't have too many options that <laughs> we cannot do all of these money. things. But let's quickly really take comments because we're, we're running out of time. <laughs> In a v to Shakara. Go yes, Uti, are you there? <laughs> yes, I'm here. So um, my comment is from our regular viewer, our regular fan, Daniel Elo. He says, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of ways. Um, Kanye West, how do I just had to hate speech? I'm not taking my point from Kanye West. I want to tell I want to talk about hate speech generally. My dear beautiful sister Gloria said hate speech has to do with give and take. Sister Lydia made mention of money rules the world. That is why people say and do what they like. Mm -hmm. Sister Awa said that it is based on religion and tradition. You ladies did not do well at all. Mm -hmm. You left Sister Awa all alone in the show <laughs> yesterday. Mm, there is God. Oh. There is so. <laughs> That's hate speech, yo. Oh. Mm. Don't incite her against us. So. Is it, it, Daniel is speaking fast. He's inciting right. you against um, us. <laughs> this is from Bobby Kennedy. He said, when you stand for the truth, you stand mm. alone. The mm. world is built on telling comforting lies. Certain black men like myself will never bow to cheap stuff. Let's hope they don't kill him for talking. Oh, <laughs> Ah, so that's, that's another one. angle. So that's another thing. So there's, the there's also a culture that is going around the world mm. that seems like if you are against certain kind of people, all of a sudden you become the enemy, you become the outlander. So meanwhile, outlander. the norm yeah. is the, the abnormal is becoming, becoming the, the norm. norm. So and we can't speak then, against the abnormal. See you. the woman that said, "Oh, uh, women shouldn't show their pregnancies anymore because those who have chosen to be women, even though they were born as male, that can't." show pregnancy will be offended will be offended. she wants it to put, put into so, it so so that is where now what is where, the, the, <laughs> where do we draw the line the matter so upon Tyra that's that's so you see that's why something what would be hate speech to you that's, that's might not be hate speech to somebody else person. because now again there is a deliberate attempt mm, to change nobody, to change it, the narrative, narrative that we knew humans. or yes. what yes. we knew growing up right mm -hmm. so there's a global narrative that must everybody must align so is yes. it that you fall in or fall out yes. mm. so that is also, also one that people are thinking that are, that are supporting Kanye mm. are saying that that is where you we know, should also we consider, consider that we should that, be able to you know, speak freely. and strike a balance yes but you see that matter it's not me that we say <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much thank you Uti. thank you glory thank you lady now before we go um ensure you follow us on all our social media handles mm. at way show africa you can interact with us further drop a comment and more importantly follow all our engagements on social media like share and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation now if you missed our quote for today here it is again I think it was on Mandela. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. Um, 
for love comes more naturally to human heart than its opposite i mean that's so true we are actually we are um, love beings right yes love dwells on our inside so when yeah. you start to see hate you know that there's a wrong programming somewhere yeah. but we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation to your screen enjoy bye bye, bye.